Hi all, welcome to the channel, welcome to my world, this is the world away, and I'm wearing red today, today, well it's a good t-shirt isn't it, this is very apt for me, I'm going to be building pack 4 of the Agora models release of build the Ferrari 250 GTO. Okay, so there is going to be some continuity today because let me tell you that the start of this build I actually did yesterday, so I was in different clothes, uh, and then I'm finishing it today or this morning uh, to put it out for you today on Tuesday because I created the first wheel. Uh, that's going to be, I'm, I'm teasing you with that because uh, <laughs> it's, I think it's harder. I thought that wheel was slightly harder than the uh, the other wheels that we've done where we do the spokes. Uh, just to start off with, after you've got the, the first two rows done, it gets simple, but uh, it was fun to do, that's for sure. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, it is available for Agora Models. I have put a link in the video description, and there's also a QR code on the screen. But without further ado, let's get cracking. So I've got most of my cameras zoomed up now because in stage 21, we're going to start the first of these spoke tires. Now, I've done a few of these on this build now. This one doesn't look as hard as the others, but, uh, well, it's going to be <laughs> seen to be believed. We'll see that for ourselves. We've got A spokes and we've got B spokes. We can't uh, get them confused, uh, but we do need this jig here. And I also need what's in this bag. So let's get this open. And this is what the rim is looking like. And you see we've got a hole in here. That hole is going to go into the hole that I've got on this jig. So once I've got that in place, I'm just gonna push that in. That stops it turning, as you can see. Now, this is where things differ from what we've done before. I'm gonna be taking this hub and putting that over the middle of that section, just like that. And I'm opening this section up here to put this, where we're gonna be putting the spokes in. You see there's holes all the way around it, over the top of that one there as well. So that's in just like that. Now they want me to put double-sided sticky tape around here. I'm gonna try and do it without double-sided sticky tape. So we're gonna see how we get on. Now out of all the spokes I need, it's the B ones I need. These are shorter than the A spokes. So let's get these out. Now I've got myself a pair of tweezers for this so I can pick them up. If you have a look at these spokes, you've got a hooked end and a straight end. It's got a hooked end that I was gonna, I'm gonna be putting into the holes here. Now they go in the bottom set of holes we got here. What we want to do then is skip a hole and in the next hole, put the next spoke. Okay, I've had a bit of play with this. This is going to be a little bit harder than the ones we've done before. And I am going to use some glue, I think, <laughs> to put these into place. So what I'm going to do is take one of the spokes with a hook on it and hook that into one of the holes at the bottom. When that's in, I'm going to let that fall into the position so it's sort of like at an angle into the slot that's actually in the direction of that post. Now, I do want that to stay into place. So what I'm going to do, this is the advantage of having a brush on. Glue, because I can actually just put a tiniest bit of glue in there. And then put that over into that section there. And then when we do the next one, we're going to actually skip a hole and then put the next one into the next sort of like channel there. And I'm going to keep doing this all the way around. Now I'll zoom up quite close on the top camera so you can see exactly how that looks. Excellent. Now we need the type A spokes. By the way, I did have some spare here, or one spare. That's good. So these are going to go in the top sets of holes, longer spoke, but they're going to cross over the one we've just put in there. So I'm just going to give you an example of how this one is. And what I do is I just dot the tiniest amount of glue just on these points here. As you can see, it crosses over there, just like that, making an X. And it's pretty much exactly the same way as we did the bottom. We're going to skip a hole. 
and then put this one in the next hole. So that's two in there, as you can see. I'm gonna go round and do all the rest. And there you go, that's all of those in place just around there. Now we wanna keep these into place and that's what this part's for. Now the easiest way to fit this, if you have a look here, we've got a little black arrow and on the metal part here, we've got a silver arrow. So you just match the black with the silver arrow and that tells you how these are gonna go in. So it's gonna go in just like this, just dropping it in gently like that. When you're happy with that, just push that into position like that. When you're happy with that, just push that into position like that. It's gonna hold all of those spokes into place. Now we do have this little bit left over. We need to keep that safe. In stage 22, as you can see here, I've got more spokes. Get these out. Also got some screws. So bringing this over, we're gonna be doing exactly the same thing on top of this ring that we've just put in. So what we're gonna do now is take the spokes in this one. These are labeled A. And I'm gonna be putting them into the holes in the bottom that I haven't been filled last time. And then they're gonna be fitting into the slots that you can see at the top. So let me put one in. They fit on top just like that. I'll just do one more to prove that, that wasn't a fluke. Although it probably was with me. I don't think I need to use glue on this time. So I'm just putting these in without glue for the minute. Just keep going all the way around. So again, I've got all the cameras on, probably best to look at the top camera. That's exactly how that's looking when they're all in. And once again, we're gonna to need to hold them into place. So I've got this ring. And this time these are gonna be going into the holes here and here. I've got the ring, making sure it's this way round. Gently drop that in, just like that. And I'm gonna be screwing that in with two of these B screws. Best way to do that, hold that in the middle like that. So that's not gonna move. And get one B screw in here nice and tight. Turn it around. Push it down again. And get one in on this side. Just having a look at that, that looks pretty good. Look at that. And that is the end of that stage. So if you got through that bit, give yourself a round of applause because that was quite hard, but it's gonna get harder now because we're gonna be building spokes on top of this section here. So the first spokes that I need are type A spokes. Get them all out. And we're doing exactly like we did last time, but these are gonna go in the top holes. I'm putting one in here, and it sort of rests in that direction there, going in the opposite direction of the ones we just put in before. So it's going this way, you can see there. I'm gonna put one more in, once again, just to show that wasn't a fluke. And that's the second one in place. So I'm gonna do that all the way around. So once again, they're all in place. I've made sure that these are in the troughs. That one just needs moving over just a touch. There you go, around this whole thing. So once we've got them exactly where we want them, they're all in, as you can see there, all where they're meant to be. Just double checking that, yep, they're all good. <laughs> We're gonna be taking this hub that we had from the very first time we started this wheel. That's gonna go on top here. So I've just pushed that on. Now I need these type C spokes. So I'm gonna be putting one in, in the lower holes, and it's gonna go down into a slot which is actually sort of recessed from the rest of them. So it's lower down than the rest of the sort of slots for this to fit into. So I'm gonna do that all the way around on the bottom row. There's no missing holes this time. We just go through all of the ones. So I'm gonna put the second one in now. Once again, make sure it wasn't a fluke and make sure that goes right down into the recess. So I'll get all of those done and show you what that looks like. And there we go, when they're all in, it's looking just like that. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be continue this with the top row of uh, 
<laughs> holes now. We're going to be putting some spokes into those. And they're just going to cross over the ones we've done in here and go into the last uh, sort of like channel that we've got around this rim. So I'll put one in. And it crosses right over this side. So if this one's going this way, this one's going all the way over here. So let me put one more in. That fits perfectly in there. So once again, I'll do all that all the way around. So that is all done. Check that out. Now, slowly, I'm just pushing that to one side. And I'm going to be bringing over this ring now. And I've got a ceiling ring that's going to go into the inside of this. This is metal, this ring. It's just going to be going right in the center like that. And it's going to be held in with B screws. So got them here, one in this side and one in the other side. Nice and tight. And now what we're going to do is we're going to be putting this on top of what we created here. Now, once again, we have an arrow, as you can see here. So we know what direction that's going in. This has got an arrow too. So this is going to be going, the arrow on this one is here. So it's going to be going kind of this way. So I want to make sure I line up the holes. Let's uh, just get the arrow in the right direction. I'll just drop that into place like that. Oh, I had to hold my breath for that. <laughs> okay, we've got four B screws to put in here. So once again, I'm going to hold it down to stop that moving. Start getting these in all the way around. So on this side, one on the other side here. And then just do the other two. And that is now completed. So I can take this off the jig. And as you can see, that's one completed wheel rim with all the spokes in place. <gasps> that's taken me an hour to do that. Uh, is it harder than what we've done before? To start off with, it is when you do that initial two rows of spokes. But after that, it's not too bad. But there you go. That's looking like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now, to start this stage, we've got a washer here, which came in the last pack and it has got some adhesive on this side here. I'm going to need to take that adhesive off and I want to drop the washer in place. So what I recommend is getting some tweezers, put them in like that, drop it in. Now it's not going to be the easiest thing to put in because you've got to get underneath all of these spokes here, but I've got it in, as you can see there, and I'm just making sure that that's pushed into place. Perfect. Now putting a wheel on, pretty similar to what we've done in the other builds, we do need to warm it up. We can use a hairdryer, but I'm gonna use my old favorite of some boiling water. So here you go, here's the hot water. Just gonna put that in there like that. Let that soak for a little while. Just gonna tidy up the workstation. Save this, you're gonna need this for all the other wheels. Remember, we're gonna do this more times. <laughs> and then when that's been soaking in there for a couple of minutes, I'm just gonna fish that out and shake it off should be quite pliable as you can see. I'm just going to be pushing this into here just like this all the way around get this into place perfect on that side just gonna do this side here perfect on that side so dry this off and there we go that is one tire completed and that is the end of that stage. So just so you know, the recording time for that was one hour, five minutes to do the whole thing. Not bad. Okay, let's move on to the next stage. So in stage 25 here, we're gonna be doing the rear axle and differential. So the first thing I need is the right differential shaft looking like this. You know it's the right one because it's got a square end on it, as you can see there. And I need the right differential housing, which looks like this. And it's got an R stamped on this. It's going to be putting this on the shaft. And it's going to be going on this way with these parts facing down. So look on the top camera. Once that's on, it's going to look like that. So it should go all the way on there like that and fit flush in there. That's what way around it needs. I'm going to be doing, to put that to one side, I'm going to be doing the same on the left axle with the left differential housing here. And then holding it this way round, this is going to be just going over the top there. 
which will then enable me, if I can just uh, get this right hand one, to put this one together with this one, make sure they're the same way around, so they go together just like that. So I'm going to be screwing them together with type B screws just from this side here at the top. Hopefully you can see that. Got the uh, screws here. Get them in. So one that side and just one next to it. And then I'm in a position to bring the two halves of the differential together so they can slot in place. I'm just going to line them up. There we go and push them in so that is looking like that now i've got a differential housing cover here which has got a lip just on one side we put the lip in first and then push that into place and that is all there is to do in that stage in stage 26 as you can see here we're going to be doing the left leaf spring get all these parts out and if I just open this leaf spring, you will see that one side has a little arrow on it. Hopefully you can see that there. What I need to do, open this front bracket, and that's going to be going on the end nearest to that arrow. So it's going to go on here, getting it in, just like this. And I'm lining up the hole to this middle hole here. Now that's going to be held in with a type H screw. Make sure that goes all the way through. Perfect. Then on the other side, I've got another bracket here. Let's get this one open. And that one's just going to be going again, probably on the top camera, just in like this. Once again, a H screw to hold that in. So bringing over the axle we just created, if I have it this way round, it's going to be going on this side here, this way round. So hopefully, see that on the side camera. This is gonna go in there just like that. I need a B screw, and I'm gonna be screwing this into place, but from the other side here. So I need the screw to go through this side and screw that in. So as you can see, that's the leaf spring in place. So all I'm gonna do then is put this top on here. It goes on this way. You'll notice the difference because one side is flat here. One side's got a little extension just out where the screw goes. You want to make sure that's towards the inside, the flat part's towards the outside. And then once again, I'm going to use a B screw just through the center here to keep that into place. Now be careful when you screw this in because all of this is plastic. So you don't want to break anything by putting too much pressure on it. But that, is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 27, we're going to be doing the left rear suspension. Get this open. And I've got these reaction struts here. I need to take one of these. And I'm going to be putting that into one side here. And the other side just in the middle there. That's how that's going to fit. It's going to be held in with H screws from each side. So I'll put a H screw in here first. Put that through with hand and then just finish tightening up. To make sure that's in all the way through there. So that's the first one in. Then the second one is going underneath. So turning it over, one side in here and the other side over here. And then it's slightly different because in this center part here, I'm gonna be putting a G screw, which I've just got ready to go. Quite hard to get that bit in there. Put this down and then it's back to the H screw just on this side. Put that in here. Excellent. So when that's done, it should look like that. Then it's going to take out the shock absorber here. Already got the spring on for us. And it looks like that. This is metal. It's just going to be going into the point just there. And this time it's held in with one of those G screws again. Just like that. 
perfect. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 28, it's very similar to what we did already. We've got the right sleeve spring now. Get all of these parts out. And once again, I'm looking for the arrow. I've got an arrow on this side, which means that's where this bracket that I'm opening now is going to go. And that's going to go in there just like that. Lining up the holes. That's held in with a H screw. The other side has got this bracket, which again, line up the hole and put a H screw in there. Bring this leaf spring over. And just like the last one, it's going to be going on the bottom here, making sure that the brackets are the same on both sides. This one's going to go in here like that. And remember that's held in with a B screw, but from the other side here. So screw that nice and tight. Excellent. And then finally, I'm going to be putting this bracket on top again, making sure that the extra bit is facing towards the inside. And it's going to be a B screw to hold that into place. And with those two in, that's all there is to do in that stage. So again, mirroring what we've just done, we're going to be putting the shock in and these struts. So the first one is going to go one side here and one side in that bracket. And again, held in with H screws. That's the first one in. Turn it over. And then putting these two in. But this time I'm going to be putting a G screw just through the center section. And then a H screw just through this side here. Perfect, so that's those in, and then with another G screw, I'm just going to take the shock absorber here, and exactly like we did last time, I'm going to put the shock just in here, and I'll put the G screw in from this side. Just like that. And with those in, that's all there is to do in that stage. So the last stage of this pack is stage 30, which is the chassis. Check that out. <laughs> now this is plastic, it's quite surprising. I expected that to be metal, but uh, let's get this open. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it this way round. And I'm gonna be taking what we just created and I'm gonna be offering that up to the underside here. And we've got a keyhole pattern in this bracket here, which is going to match the keyhole pattern I've got on that side. I'm just going to get this shock up as well, because the same thing's going to happen on this side here, like that. So they're both in place there. I've got some B screws to secure them in. So one this side, and one the other side. And then these back parts here, and I've just got them locked in, one and two. They're gonna be held in from this side here, again with the B screws. So one in that side. And just one in the other side. Excellent. And with that in place, that's all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. Now we do want to save the screws. Don't throw them away. So I'm going to keep them in the bags because we are going to need them for a later time. Well, that was fun. So an hour on that and I've spent 30 minutes on that. So it's about an hour and a half build just that pack there. But that is pack four completed. Now, once again, if you want to get this for yourself, Available for Agora models, there's a link in the video description and a QR code on the screen. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.